Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another the Sports Good video. Today, we are talking about Julio Jones and why he needs to be traded to the Seattle Seahawks and why they need to get this trade done, not only for their organization, not only for next year, not only to help Russell Wilson, but for a ton of reasons. So do me sure to stay tuned. We'll get out, uh, you know, kind of a quicker video talking about why he needs to go, what his effect will be, and how they could possibly have the best wide receiver trio in the league. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Before we get into the video, we do want to apologize just for kind of our lack of videos, I guess. Obviously, it was our one year about a week ago um, or five days ago. So, you know, we've been – NFL, unfortunately, there just is not a ton of content to be had right now. We will be coming out with our Buster Boom series where we predict each team's record, talk about their key players going to the season, draft picks, all that basically breakdown of each team. Um, that will start to push out in June as we thought May was a bit too early. So we have been a bit stagnant in terms of videos, but we will start to push out more. Subscribe to the channel, uh, you know obviously helps out a ton as well follow us on social media twitter and instagram at the sports hoops to get clips and more interactive nfl content julio jones seattle seahawks obviously we know now um if you guys saw our instagram we posted the five best teams i believe we had number one was the niners i believe two was the titans uh you, you can go check that out over there obviously if you follow us link in the description but i think the seahawks was not on my top five and now they have risen as probably one of the most likely teams to get him, him, them, uh, sorry, and the Titans, I believe. Obviously, the Patriots uh, are starting to monitor, but they are looking like they will pull out. Um, and there have been some other teams. So the 49ers well are making a push. I would say there's three teams, but I think the Seahawks need to get it done, not only for the just turmoil that happened in their organization this year. You're looking at a coach-quarterback relationship that really was apparently not good that we kind of found out for such a long time. You're looking at a, a franchise quarterback and, you know, Obviously, this the situation with Russell Wilson was kind of faded because of how many quarterbacks wanted to leave. You saw, uh, not Josh Allen, uh, Aaron Rodgers this year. You're, you're seeing so many players that have been disgruntled with their organization. So, kind of that Russell Wilson was really early. It was even, I think, believe before the Super Bowl around December, um, February is when the news. I believe February when the news kind of came out. Obviously, that Rams loss, that early exit that we've seen a lot from the Seahawks, and that's a problem. I feel like they're lacking, um, and, and they're not lacking their receiver position. But I think Lockett's really good, but not a a game changer dk metcalf 100 percent is a game changer and i think you bring in julio jones you automatically add another red zone threat you automatically have the best wide receiver tree on the league no matter how good julio plays because we know that this guy is talented he is tall and i think you give julio jones russell wilson obviously he had matt ryan nothing against matt ryan matt ryan's a good quarterback i, I think someone who's underrated but you take that step from Matt Ryan to Julio, or not Matt Ryan to Julio, Matt Ryan to Russell Wilson, and and it makes all the difference. If if you think about it, it really does make all the difference for that Seahawks organization because you put in Julio Jones, who, as I said, automatic red zone threat, someone who now in a division in which it's really a tough division. You have the Cardinals who are starting to come out, and they look stronger. You obviously have the 49ers who are going to have an improved defense, and you just there are very, very few teams that have corners who can cover a, a trio like that with DK, who has that speed, that size. And obviously Julio, who has that size and that ability. I mean, this guy is just, you know, raw talent at the end of the day. So I think if you are the Seahawks, I think what's going to become really important for you is can you make this push? And you're looking at a Julio trade that's not going to cost you a lot. Obviously, the Seahawks do not have a lot of picks. That division has kind of the Rams and them have classically been a team that do not get a lot of picks because they do a lot of trades and go out for big players and 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 the Seahawks do not have a lot but if you're looking at a second round pick for someone like Julio Jones I'm all in um, and I think this guy will be a game changer I think to save it or I mean Julio Jones is the type of guy who you know couple catches a game he can win you those games that the Seahawks lose whether it's you know a late game a, a, a Thursday night a Monday night a, a game that a lot of people are watching and and you're just seeing a Seahawks defense that's not performing. Your Russell Wilson who's a bit off, or just kind of the the team not gelling well. And I think if you put Julio Jones in there, not only is it beneficial to DK Metcalf, no, not only is it beneficial to Russell Wilson, who had that we we've seen can still be an MVP caliber player, like we saw from the beginning of last year. Obviously, a severe drop off after you saw uh, P. Carroll move that offense to a heavily running system when Chris Carson is very injured. And I think we're just looking kind of at a at a Seahawks organization that that really was like okay this actually could turn out really bad and this team could finish fourth in their division because obviously it's you know they're in one of the best divisions in the league and again i'm just gonna you know you put in julio who's a game changer and you're just gonna see and and i think a much lesser version of the tom brady effect but i think he's a guy and and you know 
don't hate me for this, but I think he's a guy who, who is a team changer. Um, Julio Jones, when he's in his prime and healthy, is is a top three receiver, top five receiver, no doubt in my mind. And I'm a there are a lot of good receivers in this league, but Julio Jones is one of the best receivers. I would arguably say the best we've ever seen at his size. And you put him next to DK Metcalf who has that speed. I mean, the amount of dimensions and facets this offense can run off of is 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 unlimited. You keep Chris Carson healthy. You have an offensive line who hopefully can protect Russell Wilson, give him time. And I think it just gives Russell Wilson, you know, different places to sling the ball. So I think it makes a ton of sense. Uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching as well. You know, coming with these shorter type videos. So do make sure, you know, comment down below. If you guys want a video, even if you're new, you just clicked on, we respond to every single comment. So you can comment down below if you want to comment video idea, anything like that. We will respond to any video ideas. Follow us on social media. Subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy it. Obviously helps us out so, so much. Um, we'll see you guys in the next one. All links to everything I said, Instagram, all that website down below. So you can go check that out. More content to come soon. We've been saying Buster Boom Series is coming, but start of June, it will be coming. So we are sticking to that. We'll see you in the next video. This is the Sports Scoop. Keen McDermott. See you next time.